everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This is another Valentine's project and this one is this super cute little chocolate treat box and you pull the tab and as you pull it, this little heart pops up and it's super cute and it says love you on the front of it. And it's just really straightforward. It's just a nice way to just gift, uh, just a little token, you know, treat there. It's got this lovely treats for my sweets and then I've just die cut these hearts. Everything here again is from those free downloads from the craft blog and that was shared on my first tutorial and it will also be shared in my blog post below and they're really fun papers and as you can see there you've got some great different colours, pinks, oranges, light pink, dark pink and you've got this brown kind of border here as well and I just think it's really nice and I'll just show you again, just pull it out, pop really really fun. So that is what we're going to make today so I'll just pop that to one side so you're going to need just pull in my stuff here okay so only a few bits and pieces this is the decoration which i've already prepped and i will put together shortly so the same kind of concept there this time i'm going for this kind of brush stroke background you can see there that's going to sit on the front and look really nice and then that's going to be for our pop-up mechanism and there's a piece of acetate there as well but to make the actual box so for the case you need a piece that is eight and a quarter by seven and three eighths of an inch and this is the 300 gsm smooth cardstock from paper mill direct and then to make the little tray that you pull out this is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter okay so while I've got this piece here along the eight and a quarter inch side or actually just on all four sides you're going to score at half an inch so half an inch half an inch half an inch and half an inch okay then because the case has to be that tiny 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 bit um, thicker I've just been using this scrap piece of white cardstock and what you want to do first of all is along the eight and a quarter inch side you're going to score at half an inch then you're going to pull your card out and pop that in okay so you can see where it is and then pop the cardstock back in again pull it out and score at one and one eighth of an inch push it back in again and score at four and three eighths of an inch and then grab the cardstock again and pop it in there and score lastly at oh, there we go at five and all that piece of card is doing, as you can see there, when I push it straight in, it's flush against the side. If I pull it out slightly, slightly, like so, you can see a little bit of the bottom of your scoreboard. By doing that, it's going to just extend the outer case enough so that the tray will slide nicely in and out. If you just use this piece here, which is just the same cardstock folded in half, and it just gives you that enough there so you don't have to do the guessing each time you know it's going to be the same so keep that handy so that is all the scoring done for the piece of acetate it's just a strip of three quarters of an inch by six it's very very strong acetate it's from the packaging that my dies and stamps come in um, it's usually what my dies come in because I get a lot of the first edition dies. The acetate packaging is very, very strong. So you can see here, this just springs up so nicely. So you do want a strong acetate. And then to decorate the front, that uh, pattern paper is three by seven and one eighth of an inch. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the scoreboard. Okay, and first of all, if we make the tray, so you just want to go along and just burnish all of those score lines okay and then all you want to do is just cut down one of these pieces here there's one of these pieces one of the score lines and that one there so you're just cutting down just the first score line there okay like so rotate the whole thing and again along the short side just cut straight down as neat as you can because this obviously is going to be all exposed like so okay and then if you just take a couple of wedges off of your tabs like that it again will just make it a much neater looking little tray when we come to put it all together okay so that's what you should have so can you just see the little wedges that we've taken out there so that's that prepped ready to be stuck down and then with our case if you just burnish all of those score lines 
okay and then where you've got the two kind of half inch sections here on the left the outer one you just want to take a couple of wedges off of the very ends there okay again if I just lie that down you can see not on this one it's just on that bottom one just a little bit off again it will just stop any of that hanging out so while I've got this here I'm just going to grab my wet glue double-sided tape in fact I'm going to use a double-sided tape I'm going to use my red because I think it's this one is the no that's bigger than half an inch let me just see I'm going to run that perfectly along that half inch tab fold in those little bits there okay and then fold over those two so this is the sticky one that's the plain one fold this over and it will perfectly you're folding it onto obviously that score line. You want it to marry up along the score line, like so. So then you've created this case where the join is will be the bottom, but now you can see we've got this case for our drawer to go through. So pop that to one side. Let's go back to the drawer. I'm going to use my wet glue here. A lot of people ask why I chop between the two. The Aline's Tacky Glue is really good because it doesn't stay tacky. Although it says tacky glue, it dries clear and it doesn't obviously leave anything sticky. This is really, really good. I love this and I use this all the time. But if you're doing tiny bits like this and the glue comes over the edges, it will stay tacky and it will leave, you know, just marks and stuff. If it's on cards, I don't tend to worry because I can just use the rubber and it takes it off straight away. But when I'm making gift boxes and stuff, it's a bit harder to be able to remove it. So when I'm making, you know, doing smaller bits, I try, if I remember, to use this. If you don't have them and you're always using Tombow, you just want the smallest amount, just really sparingly. You just don't want it to kind of come out the sides. But if this comes out the sides like it is now, I can just wipe that away with my finger and it will just dry completely clear and it won't be sticky. So that's why I do it. So I'm just gonna stick that one in there. I was talking as I'd done that one, so let me explain on this one. If you're new, you're just popping a thin amount of glue on the outer tab, so the, the, you know, the side that faces out to you, and then you just want to bring it around inside. And you can see how the front of your tray now is coming together there. Okay, and then just do the same at the other end. Okay, so now there is my tray. So what you can do now is just test that it obviously all fits and it should just slide in really nicely. Can you see there? You just push it out one end. You want to hear that it's, you know, rubbing along the sides there, but you want it to be able to obviously move freely. All right, and you can see on the sides there just how close we've got that wrapping around. All right, so that's that all done. I'm going to decorate the front of this, so I'm just going to use some, um, yeah, I'm going to use the double-sided tape. You know, it's just a little token gift, and, um, I, I, you know, I, with these, all these kind of um, novelty, I guess, celebrations, and for me, Valentine's is, is, is that, it's a Valentine, it's a novelty um, celebration. You don't need to just have Valentine's Day to tell people that you love them. But it's nice just to do a little silly things. Um, you know, you don't need to go out of your way <laughs> and buy extravagant gifts and things like that, especially with it just being still not too long after Christmas. I think some people can get a bit overwhelmed and maybe feel pressured. I will never make anybody feel that way. You should just, you know, just, uh, yeah, it's just a little token silly gift. And then just sit that on there. And what you can do is flatten down the tray, um, the case, sorry, just to stick that down. You can see now you get a nice framed piece. And again, I've got some foam adhesive. I do like putting foam adhesive on my little kind of decorations, embellishments and stuff. Because I do think that the by lifting it up and that little shadow that's created underneath it, it just it does. It really kind of adds something to your projects rather than just sticking them down completely flat. So this one, I've got the heart overhanging. Try and keep equal sides there. Again, I can just lie it down like so. And then I've just got these little hearts. And these are all cut from different um, patterns on the paper that you can download for free. Some of them is from the little um, the A4 sheet that you get, which has got um, sentiments on it, like this one. These little hearts are from one of the papers itself. 
so I just cut into it. And this love is from the big I love you tag that comes. I just cut the love bit out. But again, you know, it's entirely up to you. Do that one there, I think. And then this last one was down at the bottom. So again, you don't even have to go and, you know, use up any other embellishments. It's all there in those papers. If you want to add some sparkle to it, you can add more sequins and bits and pieces if you want, but that is the case now finished. So onto the tray. So you need your pop-up piece and my acetate, which I can't see. <laughs> Where is it? Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do, really, there's no kind of... It's entirely up to you what you've got popping up, but I'm going to use my red tape because the red tape does kind of, you know, disappears well with the acetate. And I'm just going to pop a couple of strips. Once I stick it down, you'll be able to see exactly where it is that I've stuck it. Okay, so I've just stuck it towards the end there, just two strips. I'm doing this piece first because if you pop your actual pop-up piece on, it's easier for you to then estimate how much of it you want popping up and how long you want it to be and stuff. So I'm going to grab my heart there and just turn it over and just bring it down until it covers that sticky tape like so if you turn it over and just rub out all the air bubbles you'll see there we go there you can't really see it all you can see is the acetate okay then what you want to do is add again a couple of strips I'm using this kind of I think it's just over half an inch or probably is half an inch actually tape so I'm now going to be covering an inch of the bottom of the strip here you might be using thinner tape, so yours are obviously a bit, you know, popping out a bit more. Always, always get all your air out because it means you've got it stuck down really well. And then, again, the backing comes off easier as well. So again, I've just got it covered, you can just see there. Then, you want to stick it in, and wherever you stick it, whatever's left is obviously the amount that's going to pop out and you want it to lie back on so on the chocolate bar so I'm going to bring it up about coming up about an inch and a half but again it's entirely up to you you want to make sure you've got it you know as centered as possible in the base of the tray there and then <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm going to confess now I did buy two of these but I ate one while I, whilst I was making this so I need to buy another one now <laughs> So I need to take this one out so that I can show it in the uh, one I've just made. So how bad's that? But I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Please tell me I'm not the only one. So now I can sit that in there. Then you roll that down over it. Pop it in your case. And it will push it all down like so. Obviously we need to put the pulley on it now. But then if you just kind of push your finger in the back. Look, it springs up. Now, that's springing way too far. So what I've done, so I want to show you what it does before you change, you know, you can then decide, is where it hits the front of the, the tray here, just kind of fold it. Because you can fold the acetate. Just fold it, like so. So now it will pop up, but it won't go past so that you can't actually see what it says. So now if I put the chocolate bar in, lay that down, you only want to do the one fold, you don't want to fold again, you want that to stay arched. Can you see it's kind of lifted up? You want to keep it like that. Now if I pop it back in the tray again, okay, and then now when I open it, it pops up, but just nicely so you can read it, because that's what you want. So that's there, now we just need to make a little tab. It's a really simple tab, you can put brads in there, if you want to put ribbons through, you can. But again, it's a token gift, I didn't want to spend too much time and I didn't want to use, you know, too much stuff because this will just end up being discouraged and popped in the bin, which again, I don't mind. Recently I watched The Frugal Crafter and I have always stood by what she said and that is, it's okay to throw my stuff away. I really don't mind. The joy it's bringing me now making this and giving it to the person, I do not expect them to keep everything I make. It's, it's ludicrous that we do. I think if it's something very, very special, and it's for maybe a you know a particularly special birthday. I know I keep those special cards, but I don't keep every card that's given to me. Some bits get recycled, and yeah, if you don't follow the Frugal Crafter, go check her out because she does speak a lot of sense sometimes, and I really enjoy watching her tutorials. And I I think it's true. I don't you know I think if you you worry about that and you think about that all the time, you don't enjoy creating. You know, having the attitude of well, I'm not going to make you know, um, so-and-so a really special car because I know it's going to go in the bin. 
you shouldn't think like that. You should just enjoy making it. What you don't know and what you don't see won't hurt you. So anyway, I'm not going to go on too much more because I don't tend to do that in my channels, but that's what I think anyway. So now what I've done is I've just stuck it just inside on this piece here. Just popped a bit of glue on the end and just stuck it there. And then all you can do is just fold it over. All right, just like that. And now you've got a little pulley. So really, really easy, nothing too fancy. And then I'm just going to pop that all back in. It sits there really nice, love it. And then you give it to them, they pull it and there it goes, pops up, love you. And I think this is just super cute. Love it, love it, love it. So there you go, two, well, that one needs to be filled up, but two nice treats there ready to be given for Valentine's Day. I've really enjoyed making them, I hope you did too. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Be back soon, bye.